Right. Um, connected to your uh, gas. Right, to the gas. Anyway. It's, it's, it's a by hand gas thing, is, is it? In there. He said he was going to put a hand one on. Okay, that's probably why this one's out. This probably came with it. Right. This is a braided one. We'll have to have a look, but that, that did come with it, so. Okay. Well, it can help share with your gun. Might not be your uh, kind of music. <laughs> Just turn that down for a second. Okay. So it doesn't distract me. Right. Second. We have one of them. You know how that yeah. one works. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Right, it's not showing any temperature. No change in the temperature. So there's one thing I can't show you on the heating because it's worth maximum. But I'll show you that afterwards anyway. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll try and show you in the handbook. Right, okay. so the main thing we've got. Obviously, your control panel. Mm -hmm. fairly, let's say fairly straightforward. Obviously, you can see things are on. As you can see, lights are on. If I just press any button, it just lights the control panel up to show you what's up and running. That's your 12 volt system's on and off. Okay, so obviously, you need that on when you're yep. obviously using it. Water pump. Yeah. 240 connected. Laser battery connected. And you press view levels. That's showing what the condition of your battery. Right, okay. 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 Well, happy with that bit? Yeah. 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 Water in to be roughly the same as what you would have done on your on your motor home. So you've got a drain down here. Yeah. Okay, the yellow drain. Yeah. Obviously that uh, releases the water out your hot water tank and your system yep. as and in it was uh, the taps. The, yeah, the hot water tank to, to drain that took That's a it, while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So obviously to get water in, obviously make sure that's in the horizontal position. Make sure all the taps are shut before you switch the water pump on. Okay. And see where that can go. You get water yeah. coming out when you yeah. least expect it, obviously it's not good. Same in your bathroom, make sure they're all shut. Yeah. It's just a matter of opening the taps, get the air out of the system. Yeah. Exactly the same as... Uh, That's it, just running yeah. 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 So get all the air out. Obviously I pulled the pipe out a few seconds ago, so we'll have a little bit of air in yeah. coming through. Fill your hot water tank, same as before. Open it up on the hot side. Get all the air out. Obviously I have primed it already. I don't know if you want to put your hand in there, but it's hot. You can see the steam. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought you'd see steam, would you really? But yeah. not in this temperature. Okay? Yeah. Happy with that. Make sure you do it with each tap. Make sure you get all the air out of the system because you can hear the pump running now. It will yeah. continue to run until that air's gone. Right, right. okay. Okay. So make sure you, you do do all the taps to get all the air out of the system. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Happy with that bit? Yep. 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 Good. So I'll just turn them on and get it yep. in there. Yeah, just get the air out of the system. Right, consumer uh, unit. Okay, maybe something similar to it, to the auto trail, slightly different. Right, so buttons on top right, spare, obviously spare, doesn't not connected to anything. No. Even though press it, it still lights up. Yeah. It looks very similar to the heating and hot water, it's not connected to anything. Okay. Okay, right. heating hot water on yeah. this one. Yeah. As long as that is switched on you up, you'll have uh -huh. power energy to yeah. to the boiler. Yeah. Charger, which as long as that's switched on and your electric's connected, it will charge, charge the battery. Yeah. Reverse polarity. That's a, that is just a light. If you go on the continent, you might need to go that far, and you plug your electrics in, they obviously wire things slightly different than us. That will light up. If you plug in the electrics and that is reversed, that will just light up to indicate that it is there. Right, so it does it automatically. Yeah, it just it just lights up. It doesn't it doesn't do anything to any of the systems, so you need to pull your electric the pull the electrics out, get an adapter to operate off their electrics. Right, okay. Okay? So it's just an indicator light. Okay. Two forty trips. Yeah. 12 volt fuses. Yeah. And the system shut down button. That that is there if you had that on your previous one. Yeah, yeah shut down. The yeah. System shut down. I, shut I, down yeah, I would shut down when we weren't using it for yeah. three, four weeks so that yeah. it didn't drain the leisure battery or anything else. That's it, yeah. So if you switch that off there, yeah. it won't switch it on and off there. So it needs to be switched back on again when you come to use it. Yeah. To switch it on That's it, yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah. turning that off though, will it stop the alarm? No. It's got its own. Because it's got its, it's got own, its own battery. Self, self yeah, thing, isn't it? Self right, okay. there. Also, if you've got a um, solar, solar panel, it will still charge a battery, even though that is shut down. It so, is it, be... so should we shut it down, or can I just leave it? You can leave it, because you got. it depends where you're storing it. If you're storing it under a cover, then obviously the solar panel's not going to be any good. No, it's going to be stored outside, think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it's only be... because it would drain the motorhome battery, as well as yeah, the laser battery. So, you, down, yeah. yeah, so yeah. that's why you it's, it's just it. a good thing, obviously, with having... These things like uh, solar panels now, it just tends to keep it topped up anyway. Okay. All right? Yep. Okay. Right. Next thing is the control panel for the heating, which is a bit difficult because it's a <laughs> really awkward place for me to explain and for you to see at the same time. Okay. Right. Uh, I'll just 
just get the bucket for a second, just to indicate. Because it's too hot, it won't show me the icon for the pump. Bless you. Yeah. This little circling icon yeah. that will normally appear, appear there. That right. will indicate that the circulation pump for the heating is on. Right, okay. That means your heating is on. So okay. it's more pumping the heating around. Okay? If it's not there, that means the heating's not on and the pump, circulation pump's not working. Okay. Okay? So that's what you normally see there. Norm the maximum that this will give out is 30 degrees. Right, okay. right? At the moment it's showing 30 31, one, so, it so unlikely to show it at the moment. Right, so, so I take it's got a cut off then, has it, or some yeah. kind of... Yeah, it's there slightly controlled, yeah, yeah. which I'll show you in a sec. Right, so that is the on-off button there. Yeah. This is obviously your menu button. Normally you'll, you'll see, as I said, that there. That is your plug to say, if you remember the consuming heating hot water yeah. switch on. So that is to say that it's um, available, electric's available to use. It's not saying it's using electric, it's oh, just right, saying so electric's it's, there. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. connect, so it's connected basically. It's connected, but it's not operating on electric yeah, yeah. because of that, yeah. okay? And this one here, as I said, is the room temperature. Okay, press the menu button if you want to change anything. So temperature of your room is that one there. So as I said, maximum 30. Okay. Or minimum five. Okay. Yeah. If you don't want the heating to come on, all you do is just bring it below the room temperature, which is quite easy at the moment. Yeah. 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 And that will turn the, the yeah, circulation pump off. off. Yeah. Okay. Until it naturally drops to that temperature, then it will like to come back. Kick, on. kick back in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This one here is your water heating. Okay, as once you've got electrical gas turned on, the water heating will also like come on. Okay, it won't hurt it if there's no water in there, because it's, it's different than what you had previously. Right. If you'd left that on with no water in, you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Okay, with this one, it's a totally different type of unit. Okay. So if you've got no water in, it's not going to harm it. So you can still run the uh, the heating without water being in your boiler. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So as I said, it, water heating will already will automatically be on. What you, what you have got on this, even though you press minus, it's doing nothing. Half a triangle coloured in, that's normal running. Yeah. If I press the plus button, yeah. that is a water boost function. So if, okay. say, you're going to use a shower on board, yeah. what you can do is, before you, obviously before you use it, put the water boost function on, which increases the temperature in the water, hot water tank. Right. Okay. For a period of 30 minutes. Okay. What it will also do is shut the heating system down so it will override uh, overrides the circulation pump so it'll shut that off concentrate all the heating there yeah okay okay for 30 minutes or unless you do it manually you can switch it back again yeah so after 30 minutes it will revert back to previous settings so you're just overriding the heating to get extra hot water that's it yeah, yeah. Okay. okay next one down is your energy so that's electric off that's one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt okay so you've got options of up what? to three, up to three kilowatts. Why would you change that then? In what circumstances? Right. So in in the summer, likelihood is you're not going to want the heating. No. Like it is now. Yeah. Um. So three kilowatt is well, well over the top for just heating your water. Oh, so okay. okay. One kilowatt, two kilowatt maximum yeah, right. probably would be okay. sufficient. Okay. And you have got the options of gas as well. So that was gas off, gas on. So you can use both together. All right, okay. So as I said, in the summer, like this, you're just going to need to heat the water. So you're not going to need gas on for a start, unless you've just got gas and you haven't got electric. So you could probably, two kilowatt is probably sufficient, even if it drop, the temperature drops a little bit at night time, two kilowatt is probably still sufficient enough to give you enough heating. Okay. In the winter, or the colder months, again, three kilowatt might be okay. Yeah. So it's heating and water now, or gas and electric. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. What it will do with the gas on electric, or gas and electric, I should say. And this is gas for the heating now, isn't it? Just yes, heating and the hot water. Yeah. So it's okay. all that one unit. So that what it will do is use both energies to get up to the temperature from cold, yep. and then shut the gas off and continue running on electric. Right. Unless someone like myself leaves the door wide open, cold temperature drops quite rapid, then the gas will kick back in the end and boost it back up again. Okay. okay. The reason why it'd be a bit cautious with three kilowatts, it may, may be efficient enough to get the temperature you want, the only problem is if you've got anything else running on electric, so you've got that ring on, yeah. that microwave, that on electric, or it's all adds up, yeah, it all adds up, that bar is likely not going to be too happy and it's going to trip. Yeah, okay. okay. So in the winter, perhaps you may drop it down to say two kilowatts of gas. Put the gas on, okay. Yeah, so it's not going to use a huge yeah. amount of gas, because most of the time it's just going to run on electric. Because how, how uh, well insulated these are. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. You know, electric, well, once it gets up to temperature, it will just maintain it on electric. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? Yep. Yep. 
I just remember it all, but yeah. yeah. It's all right, we've got it's, video. It's in, I've got to say, it is in your book as well. Yeah. Okay. There is uh, a YouTube video from Aldi. So if you look for Aldi, okay. they've got that, just that as well. Okay. Okay. Any other heating system as well, obviously. Okay, happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> I put that or not, I can just show you what, what the icons are. Yeah, it's, it's all to do with the heating, obviously. Okay. So what you've got here, obviously like clock, timer, so timer. to set the clock. The next one is what is called the reduced temperature timer, so the moon icon yeah. is what is called the reduced temperature timer. So a lot of people don't like it too hot at night. No. Mm. Right. They, they like it mean. warmer during the day, so what you can do is set it on a reduced temperature or a lower temperature mm. for night time on that timer. Okay. It won't bring it down to that temperature unless you had an aircon fitted. Obviously, it just naturally drops to that, that, uh, drop to yeah. that temperature and then maintain it at that. Yeah. Okay, and then when it gets to the end of that timer, then it will revert back to That's whatever day right, setting yeah. you have. Okay, next one is it what's called a delay timer. So that egg timer is what's called a delay timer. So say you've got it at, set up at home or on a seasonal pitch. Mm. So you say, right, on Friday I could set it on to come up at 4 o'clock. Yep. It'll run for 24 hours. Okay. And then it will switch itself off. <laughs> in seven days' time, it will repeat again. Okay. Okay, the reason why you may want that um, if you've got the van set up at home, and if you like myself, like to air it out over the winter every now and again, yeah. you can set that time and just go on once a week. Yeah, just to try to make sure there's no yeah. Problem. Or seasonal pitch, you can arrive with the van already warmed up. <laughs> These ones here, that's all to do with the, the pump settings. So there's a few different types of pump settings. The one main one is the circulation pump is thermostatically controlled. It's set at that at the moment. So as it gets to temperature, it'll switch it off. You can have it on continuous if you wanted to. So if you want the heat churning around the van all the all right, time, okay. the only problem is the, the boiler down there is going to suffer because all the heat is being drawn away all the time. Yeah. So it may suffer and might not get the temperature you want. Okay. But that, that's the option. Okay, that one there has to do with uh, optional extra that you can get fitted. So that's to do with the gas level. Okay. That one there, you see that it looks like Pac-Man, which isn't. It's to do with bacteria in your water, hot water tank. So if you've got your clock set and that that switched on around about two o'clock in the morning. It will boost the like the water boost function, boost the temperature to kill off the bugs in the hot water tank. Okay, nice. that one there. But you'd still need to purify the system, presumably, or not really. Yeah, yeah. if you're going to use the water, yeah, I, I would say. But I, I don't tend to drink the water out the. No, we the don't. We get it no. from the thing. But as long as you, just... if you're boiling it, but yeah. say once a year or something like that, depends on how often you use it. I, beginning of the season, I just flush it through. Because yeah. if it's I'll been sitting it's for a period of time, it's, yeah. it's, it's just because yeah. we had a tank. Yeah. I, I always yeah, used to do it because, yeah, it's, you had a fresh water but tank. because it's not sitting. It's, okay. Yeah, this one here, that's obviously a little thermostat. That's to do, obviously do with the thermostat. You can calibrate it or offset it as it's called. Um, if it's saying 30 degrees, obviously it's a lot colder in here. Yeah, it means obviously it's, it's not working correctly. As in, the uh, thermostat thinks it's already at maximum, so it's not going to allow heating I, to come on. I see, so you can yeah, I change it down to allow heat to come on. So yeah, the difference, yeah. That's it. Every time you press the button, it goes beep. There's a little button there to switch it off. That one there is your brightness of your screen. Yeah. That one there, language, you can talk French and German to it if you want to. That one there is to lock the, uh, the main screen so you don't go into the second screen. So into this main yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock that if you wanted to. External, that's to do with an extra box you could have fitted with a SIM card, okay, so you can actually operate off your phone if you wanted to. Uh, no, we're not that okay. technical. Yeah, no, I don't see my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Then, this one here, amps. Obviously, we were talking about the uh, bollard being tripped because of using too much energy, yeah. so if you've got this flat out of three, three kilowatts, you could change the ampage down, so what the amount of amps it's using to use less amps for less chance of it yeah. dropping the bollard, but you, the best, best thing is just drop it down a kilowatt. Okay. okay. Then the next one, next, ready to go. Right, reset is obviously the important button. So if you're having problems with the boiler, that will reset it back to factory setting. Okay. So if you're on the on the phone to one of our engineers, he may ask you to reset that, or even the shutdown button. He may to switch everything off okay, to reset. reset. Yeah. Service, that's he may ask you to look in that as well. That's to do with uh, what the temperature of the boiler is doing okay. and what's happening with the circulation uh, fluid as well. So he may ask you to just press that just to see what what's happening. So if there's any problems, you can roughly work out what, what may be going wrong. And translator, all that is, is uh, they can connect a box computer from outside and uh, work on the uh, boiler on, okay. on a separate system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? I think yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, we'll long, long as you've... That, that's your basics there. So if you see that circulation pump there, yeah, the little circle icon, you know your heating's running. Okay. If it's not there, then it's not on. Yeah. And if it's... Uh, if you've got it on electric there, 
on one, two, or three kilowatts, you'll get no heat whatsoever. Yeah. Likely it is that isn't switched on, which is that on 